Hey, this is Bernadette with By the Book Accounting, and I wanted to share a tutorial for a question that I get a lot. How do we handle barter transactions? So the first thing I want you to know and realize is that a barter transaction is taxable. It is a taxable event. Um, so a barter is when you provide a service to someone in exchange for them providing a service to you. Let me show you how you will handle this in your QuickBooks file. So right now I am working in a sample company of the online QuickBooks version. And these steps will also work if you are using the desktop version of QuickBooks. You just kind of have to figure out where everything else is. So the first thing that we want to do is we need to set up our barter account. This is a one-time setup. Once you set this up, you don't have to do it again. So you will come to the left-hand side and click where it says accounting. When you click accounting, it will bring you to your chart of accounts. So if you're in a desktop version, just go to your chart of accounts. The next thing is to click new right here in the right-hand corner. And we're creating a new account. In this case, a new bank account. So bank is selected. Cash on hand is fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can say it's a checking account or um, and we'll just leave it at cash on hand. And we can, we're going to call this barter account okay. and save and close. So now our account is set up and every trans, every barter transaction will go through that account. The next thing that we want to do now is we want to um, record the transactions. So I'm going to give you two examples because these examples are the examples that occur most often. Hopefully it will answer any questions that you have. So in the first example, we're going to say that Craig, which is, this is his company, is going to provide me, Bernadette, with gardening services worth $1,000 in exchange for accounting services worth $1,000. So the first step would be to record the sale. So we come here to sales. And my internet is really slow today. And we click here to new transaction and go to new, um, we want to create an invoice. Create a new invoice. And we're going to create an invoice for By the Book Accounting. And I've used my name as an example before, so I'm already in here. Um, and the service is gardening services. And we're going to get $1,000 worth of gardening services. So we're going to save this transaction. So this, by creating the invoice, we are recording the income from this transaction. Because if they provided this transaction to someone for cash, they would create an invoice. You would do the same thing when you're providing a service on a barter situation. So now I will come here to receive payment. Okay, and my payment method is going to be barter. If you haven't set this up in your QuickBooks file, you can just add it as a payment method. I like to set up a payment method of barter so that I know I didn't receive cash on hand, but I did receive a service in exchange for a service. Um, and the, the account that we're gonna deposit it to is, we can leave it as undeposited funds, or we can send it straight to the barter account. So I'm, I'm gonna do that just for a shortcut so we can save a step. So we, we're gonna deposit this to our barter account, the $1,000 for this invoice, and then we'll save and close. So if we go back to our chart of accounts, we will see that our barter account has a $1,000 balance. Now we need to record the expense which is the service that I will be providing Craig in exchange for the gardening services. So we come here to expenses on the left-hand side. Okay. 
and I'm sorry, my internet is moving slow today. And we go to new transaction and we're going to create a check. And this time I'm gonna use the abbreviated version of my business name, BTB Accounting, which is actually the legal name, um, because you cannot have the same names on both lists. So a customer, if you, if you have a customer who is also a vendor, there has to be some variation in the name. So maybe you would add LLC at the end or INC or something to, so that there is a variation in the name. Okay, and we're doing that payment today because we're gonna make the exchange today. And I recommend maybe you wanna get a barter transaction in writing to say who's gonna do what because it could get a little bit messy. I'm declaring out this check number because I'm not actually writing a check, I'm really just recording the expense. So you want to make sure that you have selected the barter account. And here I'm going to select accounting as my expense. And this records the expense for the $1,000 worth of accounting services that I will receive. And then I save and close. If I go back to my chart of accounts, I will see that I have zero balance in my, my barter account because I've spent all the money. Now, let me do an, another example of where there is not an even exchange. So we'll say that his gardening services were so great that I want to um, have him come back and do it again. So he's going to provide me with another thousand dollars worth of gardening services. So I would uh, uh, then repeat the same transactions that I just did is I'm gonna do an invoice for $1,000 for gardening services. And I'll save it. But this time, the accounting services that he's going to receive will cost $1,200 instead of 1,000. So what I want to do is I will receive the payment for the $1,000 and it is a barter transaction, right? So we're gonna barter on $1,000 and then he's going to pay me the difference of $200. So after I record that, then I want to come to the expense, right? And I have to create two transactions. So I'm gonna create a check to BTV accounting and it's from the barter account which has a thousand dollars in it take out that check number okay and so he's paying me a thousand on barter oops I should have said saving new and now I need to record another check for the two hundred dollars that he will pay me in cash and this time the money is coming from his checking account Right. And this check is for $200. Um, this is, since it's a real check, we'll leave that check number and we save and close. So that is how you will handle, handle a barter transaction when it's an even amount or if there's an opposite amount. And again, you would just do the flip-flop. If you were given more, then you may, they may have an, a credit on the account that they can use later. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions about handling your barter transactions in QuickBooks, please comment below. Make sure you also subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified when we upload new tutorials. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.